So this video is going to be similar to the last one, but we're going to start it out a little different. We spent the morning messing around with bait. Bait's getting pretty scarce, so we spent yesterday, our day off, running around trying to round up enough bait to haul today and tomorrow with. Now we got to put the bait on the boat. we got to do a little boat maintenance, and then we'll be underway. That is nice. Yeah. So after a morning of messing around with bait, doing some maintenance, installing new rugs, we are out here, we're moving some traps around, trying to get away from some crabs. We can't seem to get away from them. We got a few left to set out, then we got 400 to haul. Same thing as the last video. We're gonna go through the 400, hopefully catch some cool stuff. We're gonna get to it. And a quick 60 second thank you to the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online therapy, and their mission is to make therapists more accessible and more affordable. It makes finding a therapist much easier, especially if you live in an area like we do, where we're like a half an hour from the nearest town. And whether you struggle with depression or anxiety, or if you're just a fisherman struggling with crabs, or if you're not a fisherman and you're struggling with crabs, BetterHelp is a good choice for you. They can help you get through those tough times. They can find you a therapist within days of reaching out. If for some reason you don't like the therapist you're assigned, you can easily switch at no cost. So it's easy to get signed up. You can click on the link in the description of this video. Not only will that help support this channel, but it will also give you 10% off your first month. Thank you again, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this video. Go check out the link for 10%. We're gonna get back to it. Really nice. Oh, no, don't worry, Cody, we'll just shut it down. We got it. We'll wait for you. Oh no. You must go on. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Female full of eggs. Bunch of them. 20, 30,000 eggs. She's got no notch yet. We're going to give her a quick notch. That just signifies she's a breeder. If you're new, she can't be kept. These are some of the most aggressive lobsters we catch. They bite. You see her claws go right up in the air. I don't know if it's just because they're protective of their eggs or what, but we're going to see what she can do to this pencil. Oh, she can't quite get it. She's close. The pencil's kind of a hard thing to break because they don't have any leverage on it, but she definitely did crunch it. Now I can't get it out. I think she's gonna break it if I let her do it again. So she pretty much broke the pencil. She just couldn't quite finish it off. Obviously their claws aren't really the right shape to break a pencil. They're not picking enough, but they do the job on a snack. Oh, the only I mean, set those traps out. That breeze is a little chilly. Oh, yep. Yeah. Jesus. What's that? <laughs> Looks great. Man, what a relief. <laughs> Big old rye mouth eel. If you ever handle them, you gotta be careful because they got spikes along their dorsal. All the way across their back. And they'll try to poke you with them. Looks like old grandpa. We're gonna let him go. We have no use for him. Those things are creepy looking, aren't they? We're a little over halfway through the day. Got a little Cunner. C U N N E R. Get his teeth. Griffin, give him a kiss. 
They're not super uncommon, but this one is pretty cool looking. He's got some greenish blue. We catch him occasionally. Nothing super rare so far or real cool. We did get the rye melt yield. We're just kind of going through the motions, grinding away. We got 100, 150 drops left. There's another one. She has an old notch. A lot of people ask, because lobsters grow through shedding, don't they just shed the notch and lose the notch when they shed? But you can see it's not completely gone, it's still visible. It takes a few sheds to get rid of a notch completely. So before the notch is gone, we'll just freshen it up. If she were to shed again, you wouldn't be able to see the notch next time. We'll freshen it up for her. That way it'll survive for multiple more sheds. Probably got 20, 30,000 eggs. They're brand new eggs. She just pushed them out. You can see how dark they are. They actually start inside of her tail. So they'll spend the first nine months inside of her tail. Then she'll push them out onto her tail where they'll spend another nine months. And then they'll hatch. She'll release them and they'll float suspended in the water, swimming like little sea fleas. And while they're suspended in the water, a lot of fish eat them, a lot of them die. But a few of them grow big enough to sink back to bottom where they're a lot safer from predators. We're gonna give her a snack. He's gonna grab it with both claws, look. There she goes. Oh, you okay? Good enough? No, it's leaking somewhere. Give me that water jug right there. Boats. Oh, can't live with them, can't live without them. It's always oh. something. 180 degrees antifreeze in my eyeball. Yeah, it is hot. Yeah, you gotta cut the hose off, right? It's beyond where it's ripped. Broke down, but we're good to go. That circulates the coolant through the motor, through the tank of hot water to keep it hot so we can clean stuff with. Chafed a little hole in the hose, but we're good to go. Comes the last one of the day. Woo! <laughs> Can't get clear of the Jonah crabs. They're everywhere. One nice one. Nice male. Little bugger. Just barely makes the measure. He's about a pound, pound and a quarter. Step on the road. So we just got in. We're gonna sell our lobsters, get some fuel for tomorrow, get some bait for tomorrow, and we'll be back at it first thing in the morning. We'll see you tomorrow. So I had every intention of picking up this video the next day fishing, but sometimes life throws curveballs at you. Sometimes they're precious like this and sometimes they're hurdles, but this is a good curveball. She wasn't due until mid-October, so she came four weeks early. I had my alarm set the next day for like 3.30, 3.20, and Ashley's water broke at three o'clock. So literally 20 minutes before my alarm clock went off, I said, we gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go too, so we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>